one of the big names in physics, Miyoku, famous for his work, just said something pretty wild. The James Webb Space Telescope found six huge galaxies that shouldn't even exist, according to what we thought we knew. This could change everything we understand about the universe, so it's worth paying attention. Miyokaku's a big deal. He's an American-Japanese physicist who gets both old-school physics and quantum stuff. He's not stuck in his ways like some scientists, and he's excited about what the James Webb Telescope is showing us. It's cool that he's speaking up about something he can't deny. You can tell he's really into this discovery. Let's talk about what these six massive galaxies mean. Miyokaku's always been open to new ideas, knowing that Einstein and Newton didn't have all the answers. He gets that this telescope's findings could bring a lot to science. Some scientists are worried or can't sleep because of these new galaxies, especially those who believe in the Big Bang and quantum mechanics. But Kaku just laughs at that. So, the James Webb Telescope spotted six giant galaxies from pretty much the beginning of the universe. Each one has more stars than our own galaxy. They formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The astronomers who found them are calling them universe breakers because, if they're real, they mess up our whole understanding of how things started. Here's the thing. The Big Bang Theory says the early universe was a chaotic mess. Stuff took a long time to form, and galaxies weren't supposed to show up until much later. Some of these new galaxies are bigger and brighter than the Milky Way, making stars way faster than we do. We don't really know when the first galaxies popped up. Scientists are still figuring that out. At first, there might have just been single stars or small groups that slowly came together, making tiny galaxies. These little galaxies bumped into each other and grew bigger. But according to the old ideas, big, organized galaxies couldn't have been around back then. This makes you wonder, is the universe way older than we thought, or did things get complicated way earlier? Some scientists are having a hard time accepting this, and some physics folks are flat out denying it, thinking there must be mistakes. Miyokaku knows this happens, lots of old theories hang around because important scientists said so. They only get proven wrong when someone does an experiment that shows they're false. That's why experiments are so important in science. They keep the theorists honest. We really don't know much about how the universe began. The Big Bang Theory came about in 1927 when we saw the universe expanding. This made people think everything started from a single point. It was hard to imagine a universe with a beginning and an end. Even now, it's tough to wrap your head around. Again, these new findings don't line up with what we've been saying for years about the Big Bang. But science is all about rethinking things and being open to new ideas. When Einstein was a kid, people thought everything in space was fixed. Now we know it's all moving. Planets go around stars, stars move in galaxies, and galaxies zoom through space. Scientists have to face the facts and realize that theories aren't always the truth until they're proven. The Big Bang idea came from seeing galaxies moving away from each other, and the farther they are, the faster they move. This is called Hubble's Law. Things like cosmic background radiation and the red shift of light seem to back it up. But, people used to think the Earth was flat and the sun went around us, and they had evidence for that too, until better tech came along. We're in a similar spot now. Scientists thought the James Webb Telescope would prove the Big Bang, but instead, it found these impossible galaxies. It's a reminder that science is always changing, and we have to be ready to rethink our ideas when new stuff comes to light. Scientists use redshift to figure out stuff in space. Redshift is when light changes color because the thing making the light and the person seeing it are moving relative to each other. Imagine a car coming toward you, the engine sounds louder. As it passes, the sound changes. It's the same with light. If a star is coming toward us, its light looks a bit bluer. If it's moving away, it looks redder. That's redshift. Physicists use redshift to measure how fast things are moving and how far away they are in space. But small mistakes could mess things up a lot. The old ways of measuring are being looked at again. It'll be interesting to see what scientists find out.
As for these new discoveries, we need to figure out if they're because of redshift errors or if some scientists just don't want to believe it. It's going to take some serious checking and thinking. Thanks for watching. Leave your questions in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, share it, and subscribe. Miyoku, who's a really big shot in physics, recently talked about the James Webb Space Telescope's find, six giant galaxies that shouldn't even exist, according to what we thought we knew. This could totally shake up how we see the universe. It's pretty cool and worth paying attention to. Miyoku's a rock star in the science world, American and Japanese, and super knowledgeable about both classic and quantum physics. Unlike some scientists who are more stuck in their ways, he's excited about what the telescope is showing us. It's great he's speaking up about stuff that's hard to deny. You can tell he's really hyped about these galaxy finds. It's got him geeking out. So, what does Miyoka think about these six massive galaxies? Well, he's always been open to new stuff. He knows Einstein and Newton can't explain everything. He gets that discoveries from this telescope could change everything, even if some other scientists aren't so keen on the idea. It's causing some stress, but Kaku finds it rather amusing. These six galaxies are huge, and they're from way back in the early universe. Each one has way more stars than the Milky Way. They formed super early, just 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The astronomers are calling them universe breakers because, if they're real, they mess with our whole understanding of how things went down. Basically, the Big Bang Theory says things were a hot, messy soup back then. It should have taken ages for stuff to form, and even longer for galaxies to appear. These galaxies are too big and bright to fit that timeline. They were making stars like crazy, way more than our galaxy does now. No one's sure exactly when the first galaxies showed up. Maybe it was just single stars or small groups that slowly joined up. But these massive, well-organized galaxies? Supposedly, they couldn't have existed back then. So, does that mean the universe is older than we thought, or did galaxies evolve way faster? Some scientists are having a hard time accepting this, and are questioning the age calculations. Miyoka knows this pushback happens. He basically said that some old, wrong ideas hang around because certain scientists like them, but experiments eventually prove them wrong. Experiments are important so that those with theories are actually honest about the cosmos. The Big Bang Theory started in 1927 when we noticed the universe was expanding. The idea was it all started from one point. Back then, a universe with a beginning and end was a hard concept. People liked the idea of a universe that always existed. It's still tricky to wrap your head around. These new galaxy finds don't really match what we've thought about the Big Bang for decades. But science is all about rethinking stuff and being open to new ideas. When Einstein was a kid, everyone thought the stars were fixed, but now we know everything's moving. Things constantly change and evolve. It's uncomfortable for some scientists to admit they might be wrong. But theories aren't facts until they're proven. The Big Bang idea came from seeing galaxies move away from each other. For a while, things like cosmic background radiation seemed to support that. But remember, people used to think the Earth was flat, and they had evidence for that too, until better stuff came along. We're in a similar spot now. Scientists hoped the James Webb Telescope would confirm the Big Bang, but instead, it found these impossible galaxies. It's a reminder that science is always changing, and we have to be willing to rethink things when new stuff turns up. So, get this, a top physicist, Miyokaku, known for his work, just said the James Webb Space Telescope found six huge galaxies that shouldn't even exist, according to current theories. This could totally change how we think about the universe. It's super cool and worth paying attention to. Miyokaku is a big name in science, American and Japanese, and really knows his stuff when it comes to physics, both old school and quantum. Unlike some scientists, he's open to these crazy new findings from the space telescope. He's even spoken out about it, you can tell he's excited. He's always been willing to think outside the box, knowing that Einstein and Newton didn't have all the answers. This new telescope data might just flip the field on its head. 
Some scientists are worried, even losing sleep over what it means for the Big Bang Theory and quantum mechanics. But Miyokaku is amused. The telescope spotted these huge galaxies way back in the early universe, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Each one is way more stars than our own Milky Way. The astronomers are calling them universe breakers because, if they're real, they change everything. The Big Bang Theory says the early universe was a hot mess, and it took ages for big stuff like galaxies to form. These galaxies are too big and bright to fit that picture. They were cranking out new stars like crazy, while our galaxy was taking its time. No one knows exactly when the first galaxies showed up, but these ones are way bigger and more organized than anyone thought possible back then. Are these galaxies telling us the universe is older than we thought? Or did galaxies form way faster? Some scientists are having a hard time accepting it and question the telescope data. Miyokaka gets it. He says some outdated theories stick around just because some famous scientists said so, and these theories only die when experiments prove them wrong. Science and physics needs experiments confirming theories. We still don't know much about how the cosmos all began on Earth. The Big Bang idea came about in the 1920s from seeing the universe expand. Everything seemed to start from one tiny point. It was hard to even imagine a universe with a beginning back then. Even now, it's tough to wrap your head around. These new discoveries just don't line up with how people have thought about the Big Bang for decades. But science is about rethinking things, based on new evidence. Think about it. People used to think the Earth was flat and the Sun revolved around us. They had evidence, too. It's like that now. We hoped the James Webb Telescope would support the Big Bang, but instead, we got these impossible galaxies. Science keeps changing and we have to be open to it. Scientists use redshift to figure out how far away things are in space. Redshift is like how the pitch of a car engine changes as it drives past you. Light from stars shifts color depending on if they're moving closer or further away. But tiny errors in these measurements can mess things up big time. Those techniques are under review right now. So, are these new galaxy findings real, or is it just redshift errors? Or are some folks just refusing to believe what they see? That's what needs to get figured out. 